work so hard, there's no time to be lazy. The weekend comes, I'm down with that. Grab your ball, grab your bat, head to the beach, grab some rays. Better hurry up, the scout and base. Playing games, hanging out, rolling close, so there's no doubt. Go to the ball, not a fun piece of ride. Hey, can't really talk right now. The guys are in the park waiting for me to bring my sponge throwing thingy so we can throw sponges. Hey, Mom, I'm gonna meet the guys in the park, okay? You got any gum? Ah, I'll check. What's with the old lady purse? Ah, new lipstick. What the heck is this? Ah, found gum. One moment, please. Ah. Ah. Hello there. Hello there. Welcome to my home. Where I live with my mother, whom you are not. Now, I know that strangers get a bad rap, but nonetheless, this house has certain rules. Number one, all strangers must either sign in or wait outside until... Only your mom would ever get wear shorts like that. Hey, I picked out these shorts. Oh, great. You've met Adele. I'm Mrs. Adele Phipps. Well, I'm Mr. Tino Tonatini. Um, thanks for the gum. Adele and I used to do everything together. See? We were best friends until the eighth grade. Yeah, then the awful thing happened. The awful thing? <laughs> are you still listening to that lousy music? It's called <laughs> Southern Fried Rock, and it's still very popular. At, uh, county fairs. Hey, yo, Mom, how about some yeast and barley wafers for our guest, huh? Mm -hmm. This, uh, reunion is obviously very uncomfortable, so I'm going to fake an ulcer. Got it? Good. Did you get hit in the head with a dodgeball again? Uh, I'm fine. No, look, you're being very polite to this person, but... This person was my best friend. No way. She's totally different from you. You and your friends are totally different. Yeah, but we... Whoa, you're right, we are. I haven't seen Adele since eighth grade. Well, you don't have to see her now, because I'm here to bail you out. Yeah. <laughs> Internal bleeding. Why didn't you go have that ulcer outside with your friends, right? I also do a great appendicitis. That's like the tenth one you've missed. What's the point when our giddy, frolic-filled days are near their end? Did you get hit in the head with a dodgeball again? I have seen our future, and its name is Mrs. Adele Phipps. Is that the new girl with the braces? I didn't know she was married. My mom is best friends with Mrs. Adele Phipps when they were kids, but they haven't seen each other since 8th grade. So? Lots of people don't say friends. But they were really different, and then the awful thing happened. Don't you see what this means? That you should stay in the back during dodgeball? <gasps> I know what you're talking about! I used to be best friends with Francis. One day, you were inseparable. Hi, Francis. Good morning, Tish. I've just received the new Little Muffins book, and it's ever so charming. Let us put music on the veranda. The next day, she was just too different. Hi, Francis. I like pointy things. <laughs> now I never see her. It couldn't last. Exactly. People as different as us just can't stay friends forever. You're right. It's only a matter of time. Okay, we have two options. One, wait for something awful to happen like with my mom and Mrs. Adele Phipps. I wonder what the awful thing was. Oh, I bet it involved canned peas and an electric floor waxer. Maybe. Option two is we find new best friends who are more like us and avoid the awfulness. New best friends. We want to thank our fans for making Team Canyon the number one show. Number one fan climbing. Woo! And most of all, we want to thank our new best friend, Carver Descartes. <laughs> It's settled. We'll all find new friends who are just like us. I, uh, I guess this is goodbye. The first one who tries to start a group hug eats it. Got it. Um, good one? So, Ruby, you and I are, like, really hitting it off, huh? <laughs> like best friends. <laughs> Maybe? Only if you work on your pitching. Oh. Sorry, I do that all the time. Note to self, no dangerous friends.
Okay, pay attention. I only swing at pitches at waist high, medium speed, no spin, and put. Hey, where are you going? Lore? <sighs> where am I gonna find friends who are just like me? <gasps> of course! My brothers! <coughs> so, you guys wanna be my new best friends? Let's see. Who should I pick to be my new friend? Skateboarders? Ah, uh, way too different. <laughs> Definitely no. Wait a minute. Looks like me. Eats like me. Hmm. Mind if I join you? Sure. Due to the controversial nature of the rat exhibit, we will be closed until further notice. Please exit to the left. Now. I guess you don't have a new best friend yet either. Hey, did a rat just run by? No, we'll never find a new friend. I couldn't even get anyone to go with me to that production of Julius Caesar where the actors all speak in Morse code. That's a surprise. Maybe we need to seek the help of a higher power. You mean our parents? Someone even smarter. And I know just a guy. We're gonna get help from a guy who hangs out on top of a big rock? Jules knows everything. He's a real world traveler. He was born in Milwaukee, went to school in Nairobi, and spends every summer in Shanghai. Wow, Milwaukee. Ah, Petra Tishkova, and friend. Hi, Jules. We need help finding new friends. You need Ty and Sly. In all my globe-spanning travels, Ty and Sly are the closest friends I've ever seen. You can find them in the great indoor marketplace. You mean the mall? The mall, you say? Let me write that word down. Man, you gotta get down off this rock once in a while. So, what's your favorite chum bucket song? Sure. Oh, you mean suffused elephant quaff winces exasperating? Sure. Am I the smartest person alive? Sure. Will you give me $400,000? Sure. Okay, fine. We like the same movies, same music, same clothes, same people, same food, same sports. Same everything? Same, same everything. everything. Can you help us find friends like that? Are you kidding? We can help you be friends like that. You're no. hired. So, you'll get to meet my new best friend, Tony, in a minute. What? Did you and the guys have a fight? No, we did not. Thanks to you and Mrs. Adele Phipps. Oh, I know I'm going to regret asking this, but... Hey, we're too different to stay friends, just like you guys. So we decided to call it quits. <laughs> Your support in this matter is greatly appreciated. How did you come up with that? Oh, wait. You're the one who thought an unplugged iron could burn the house down. Safety first. Adele and I were different. That's what we like about each other. But you said some awful thing happened, and you hadn't seen her ever since. Tino, the awful thing was she and her family moved to Ohio. That's why I haven't seen her. Oh, well, uh, yeah. Everyone's different, honey. Maybe you guys won't be friends forever, but think how boring it would be if you were all the same. Maybe so. Whoa. Deja Tino. Yeah, uh, Tony, this is my mom. Sure! Now if you ever break, I know where I can get spare parts. Well, if it isn't Laura McQuarrie, how the heck you been? Tino, old pal! How about, uh, finding us a waiter there, Tony? Sure. Good luck. It's like there's no one in charge around here. <laughs> okay. If Tony says sure, one more time I'm going to swallow my own head. How's it going with your brothers? Great. Except for the screaming, dog piles, and general stench. Whoa. Freak show alert. Hi, Hi Tino. Hi, Hi Laura. What, what a nice surprise seeing you here. here. Well, you guys seem good-ish. <laughs> Tish and I have been doing the... Same things. Wearing the... Same things. Eating and drinking the... Same things. For over 24 hours now. And I think we've finally gone insane. insane. You guys, this new friend thing isn't working out for any of us. And you know why? Are you going to tell us what your mom said? No. Okay, she said she and Mrs. Adele Phipps were friends because they were different. And it's boring to all be the same. Sure, sure! Yeah, 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 yeah. I like us being different. It's never broken us up before. Maybe it never will. Friends again? Oh, yeah. You bet. Yes! Doing okay, Tony? Sure. <laughs> well, I guess a little dose of sameness showed us how good our differences are. Oh, hey, by the way, if you ever see us doing something stupid like looking for new friends, would it kill you to say something, huh? Right. Later days. <laughs> okay, I suppose you're wondering what's going on here. Why are we all sticky? Why are we covered in streamers and flyers? Why do we have a stripe painted on us? Why is Tisha's face all splotchy? Why is there a lollipop in Laura's hair? Why does Narver have an egg on his head and a swollen ear? And why have I got one shoe on and a yo-yo stuck to my stomach? Well, I'll tell you this. We figured out that sometimes, when things keep getting worse and worse, you just have to laugh. But 
let me show you how we got to this point. So here, you can see, Is we... Is that an ostrich gargling with oatmeal? No, wait, gotta go back further. <laughs> Not far enough. A little further. Come on. Almost there. Whoa, too far. Here we are. Friday. Everything seemed perfect. Tino here. I don't want to brag, but our weekend is so going to be better than yours. There's a new interactive dinosaur exhibit at the Science Museum, a new virtual Vikings game at Funville, and Sunday's Nickel Day at Tesla Park. Everything costs a nickel. It's perfect. Nothing can go wrong. Okay, we have to do all our homework and chores tonight to make way for the best weekend ever. But we'll miss being the first to play virtual Vikings. But tomorrow we'll have a high score to beat. Excellent point, my friend. It's settled. Homework, chores, and early bed tonight. And tomorrow, let the games begin. They've been working on this dinosaur exhibit for like a year. I hear it's so realistic, you can't tell the real dinosaurs from the robot ones. Uh, we're here. Ah, uh -huh. my shoelace. Come on, Tino. You don't need a shoelace. But you do need a shoe. Oh, man. It's on the bus. Well, let's get in line. Who's going to care if you don't have a shoe? I care very deeply that you do not have a shoe, therefore you may not enter. What? Okay, don't panic. I'll just go get a shoe. This would please me. Luke, I need your left shoe. Okay. Rubber boots? No, 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 no. Um, thanks. I'll bring it right back. Alrighty. Don't you even want to know why he needs a shoe? Everybody needs shoes. Yep. Got my shoe. No cutting. We're not cutting. This was our place. Remember? You wouldn't let us in because he didn't have a shoe? I cannot possibly remember every shoeless guest. Back to the end of the line, please. Okay, but I'm reporting this to the Museum Entry Deciders Organization. You can keep it if you want. I got more at home. Oh, thank you, but I'm going to be standing here for the next three hours, and my knee is starting to sweat. Attention. The exhibit is closed. Go away. What? Uh, no way. Dude, those dinosaurs were so awesome. Hey, why'd they close it down? A pterodactyl went haywire and picked up Chloe Montez. Yeah, the firemen are trying to pull her out of the woolly mammoth's trunk. The thing we were most psyched for was a complete bust. I'm never going to get psyched again. It only leads to sorrow. Hey, want to buy some fruit punch? I made it myself. It doesn't have any guava in it, does it? I'm allergic. Nope. Okay, we'll take four. That'll be one dollar. No, little boy. Four times ten cents is forty cents. Those are grand days. One dollar. What a rip. Uh, Tish, are you all right? You're looking kind of splotchy. What? You said there was no guava in this. There isn't. I did put in some guava, though. <clears throat> are you going to be okay? Yeah, it doesn't hurt or anything. And it goes away in a week. Aren't they taking yearbook pictures this week? Great! I'll be known as the Splotchy Girl. Hey, Splotchy Girl! <gasps> What's up, Splotchy Girl? How's it shaking, Splotchy Girl? Hey, at least we still have Funville. Thank gosh for Funville, huh? Good old Funville. There are no bugs in Funville. I have never, ever, ever seen a bug in Funville. Help. Ow! Oh! Welcome to Black Tie Pie, you insignificant peons. Do you have a reservation? A what? I'm afraid I don't have a table until 3. Well, we can wait until... 3 a.m., November 19th. Next, November 19th. Oh. And, ahem, we do not admit splotchy persons. Yeah! <laughs> Hold on, Shuggy Boo. Run down! Run down! Okay, stop crying. We'll help you. Give me a boost. Hey, he's smiling at me. Love you, Pa! Hey! Ah! Ah! Oh, 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 oh. 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 In all my 30 years at this mall, I've never seen such nasty hoodlums. Such nasty, sticky hoodlums. You were only trying to help. Nasty, sticky, lying hoodlums. A two-week suspension from the mall? Dude! I officially give up. We should just crawl into a dark hole and wait for Monday. Uh, is it Monday yet? Feels like I've been in the snack coma for hours. How long has it been? Eleven minutes. Well, ten and a half. Oh, cheese bunkies for splotchy girl. I'm afraid to ask.
yes, but can I come in? Yeah. Uh, okay, here goes nothing. Hey, as much fun as it is to wallow in filth, I thought it might be even more fun to have a backyard sleepover. I've already cleared it with everyone's parents and set up the tent. So let's go, campers, campers, let's go! Woohoo! Woohoo! Okay. Good night. Good night. Yep. I think I sneezed a bunkie. Good morning. Whoa, look what the cat coughed up. Hey, I've got a fun idea. Why don't you all take nice long baths, hmm? Wash up, do some laundry, hmm? Like, before your parents see you and call me and yell at me. How about it, mm hmm? Oh, what's the point? Oh, man. Guys, I know things seem bad, but they'll only get worse if you don't change your attitude. You gotta laugh it off and go have some fun. Well, maybe we could go... By the way, I'm having the garage door replaced. It should only take eight to ten hours. Let's go to my house! What? Good news! In five hours, you'll taste my crunchy like peat off. What's curable? It means all day stinky stew. Carver, your house now. Is that an ostrich gargling with oatmeal? Nope. Can he sing unless? My house. It's quiet. Too quiet. I don't trust it. Let's go. By this point, nothing could cheer us up. Not the beauty of nature. Not free money. One dollar bills. Get your free one dollar bills. Not even the stars of our favorite TV show, Teen Canyon. Hey, guys. Want to be our friends? And just think, only two days ago we were psyched to go to Nickel Day. At least we've hit rock bottom. Things can't possibly get worse. Hello, young America. Remind your parents to vote Gloria Duong for town council. Here's some players. Vote for Duong. Vote for Duong. Elect her, you won't be wrong. Yay, Duong! They're worse. So now you're all caught up, and you probably figured out the same thing we did. That sometimes when things get really bad, you just have to laugh. <laughs> Come on, guys. There's still time to catch Nickel Day. Yeah. Count me in. Dude, Cobra and Nickel, and my pockets are stuck together. <laughs> Later days. Uh -huh.